Torrance, aviation visionary and South Bay legend Frank Robinson has died at 92. Leaving behind six children, a company of over 1,000 employees and a forever changed helicopter industry. Robinson founded the Robinson Helicopter Company in 1973 where he defied the opinions of aviation leaders and opened a previously untapped market for private ownership through his signature R-22, R-44 and R-66 model helicopters. He served as president of the Torrance-based company until he retired in 2010 at age 80 and passed the reins to his son Kurt Robinson. Robinson died peacefully in his Rolling Hills home on Saturday, November 12. He was captivated with helicopters and really wanted to develop that as a personal transport and the rest is history, said Kurt. He really did have a true love of the industry. Aviation was in his blood. Robinson was born in Carbonado, Washington in 1930. He developed his fascination with helicopters at the tender age of nine, when he saw a photo in the Seattle Post-Intelligencer of Igor Sikorsky hovering his VS-300 prototype helicopter. That image stuck with Robinson and drove the course of his career and life. In 1957, he earned a BSME degree from the University of Washington and later attended graduate school at the University of Wichita. He went on to work in engineering at the Cessna Aircraft Company, McCulloch Motor Company, Kamon Aircraft, Bell Helicopter, and Hughes Helicopter Company. However, he was unable to interest any of his employers in his concept for a small, low-cost consumer helicopter. The prevailing opinion, at the time, was that helicopter market was for the military only. Robinson set out to prove them wrong. He was a very determined person who didn't accept no, whenever he was faced with a challenge he found a way to push on, Kurt said. Robinson founded the Robinson Helicopter Company out of his Palos Verdes home in 1973 and developed the first R-22 prototype at the Torrance Airport, 